Hello Collective and welcome to the Humble Sage. For this reading we're going to be doing the 2024 predictions. This is an overall reading, 12 months included, and all zodiac signs and placements. So let's get stuck in Collective. I hope you're well and please remember uh, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's an overall message therefore Whenever it finds you throughout the year, it's for you at that time, as I'm including all 12 months in this reading. And if you do like my content collective, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing, as it can help the message to reach more people in the collective. We've got new opportunity. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got trust your intuition. Nice. That's a very nice way to start out, actually, Collective, because we are in January at the moment. So throughout the year, any opportunities that come your way, just trust your intuition. Go with the flow. Understand that the universe may send curveballs and it's your opportunity to step up and say, OK, I'm going to work with that. Right. Just because something may not work out the way that you planned it to, that doesn't mean to say that the universe isn't bringing you what you desire. All right. We've got teamwork and true. With teamwork, it says work with others to make the situation come about. And true. Yes, what you're asking about is the truth. Like I said, collective, you know, whatever your endeavors are this year, whatever you're looking to achieve, go for it. Right? We'll see what true means here. But certainly here there's an element of knowing that you don't have to do everything yourself, that you can reach out to other content creators or you can reach out to the bank or other avenues to get funding. Right? There's not just one route, you can keep on going. If you're already in a career and you're looking to step up somehow, speak to your boss. You know, see what, how you can contribute more to the team and see what efforts you've made so far and how you can improve on that. You know, it may seem obvious, but sometimes... We can be sat in a bubble and we might want to move forward. You don't have to discuss it with anybody else apart from your boss. January, the Four of Cups. February, the Eight of Pentacles. March. Seven of Swords, April, the Knight of Cups, May, the Knight of Swords, June, the Ten of Wands, July, the World, August, the Ace of Cups, September, Death, October, Justice, November, the Nine of Pentacles. And for December Collective, we've got the Seven of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords. Interesting. What I'm seeing here, Collective, is whatever emotional struggle that you've been through, you're working through it with prudence. You can see clearly here with the with the knight here and the page of swords. Excuse me if I said the knight earlier. It's the page of swords collective. Right? Overall, this is definitely about overcoming issues. You know, before I dive deep into each month. Certainly by the end of the year, what we're looking at here is this self-actualization has kicked in good and proper. There are a lot of majors down this end. And up here, just because these are minors and because there's a couple of court cards doesn't make them any less significant. But this speaks to me about your inner realm, you know? They're not huge life changes, but instead they're incremental changes that you're making in order to achieve what you want to. It could be healing, it could be career here. But nonetheless, this work starts from within, as within, so without, right? And what's important to understand, especially when we look at this page, how are you manifesting, right? If we look out into the world and we see negativity, then we create negativity and we experience negativity. But instead, we take a step back and you look at yourself for who you truly are, being an infinite being, right? We are one with the creator. 
we are allowed to achieve what we want to. Other people may heckle, other may people say whatever they want to say. They can say what they want to say. People chat a lot these days, notice. But that doesn't matter, collective. That doesn't mean to say that because other people's gossip, that doesn't have to put you down. That doesn't have to stop your dreams. What do your dreams have to do with them? You know, particularly down here with the, the world, the Ace of Cups. Death, justice, the nine of the pentacles, most definitely collective, right? This is speaking to me about not just elevating yourself to, within yourself, your highest state of mind, but also understanding that there are cycles in life, right? There are cycles, people come and go, right? Situations come and go, feelings come and go, right? Change is inevitable. That's the one concept of the universe. Everything comes from nothing and inevitably will go back to nothing. Whatever struggles you've experienced, you know, there's always a way to reframe it into something that can be more, not just positive, right? Because the world isn't always about positivity. That's not reality. But to reframe it into something that can be utilized to your advantage. What are the lessons that have been learned here? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So let's get stuck into January and we'll work our way around. For January Collective, we've got the Six of Pentacles. Nice, right? This success that's been created is this need where you've had to fill your own cup of love, your own cup of joy. And it may not seem like you're achieving it yet, but you are on that road to material success. You are on the road of this being balanced out and being made fair with the universe, right? Because something falls it breaks right there's gravity there's always cause and effect with life right and that's the truth of this these two this combination here is that things may have happened that doesn't mean to say that you can't create something positive out of it right pain into power where we've got this ace eight of pentacles with the star february that's it's what i'm saying collective how this healing energy or reframing it into something that is becoming more poignant it's becoming stronger for you Right. It's giving you a sense by focusing on your career sometimes collective, it can help you to navigate yourself a bit better in life. Right? It's not to ignore things that have happened, but instead balancing yourself out, being accountable for your own behavior. Right? And saying, okay, things didn't work out so much fine. But you have four elements, five including spirit. You are spirit, right? You are the manifestation. You are the elements. So all of these elements need to be balanced, right? Just because oh, the six of wands, right? This balance that's necessary is coming about, especially when you look at trust your intuition, this Aquarius energy here, this star energy. You can see the connection to the universe here that this energy has, right? Connection to the higher realms and the planetary energies. And you're working with that collective. You're flowing with that energy. Beautiful. Yeah, indeed, uh, we've got the seven planetary energies here, right? And we've also got, there are eight here. It's like, well, the one down here, as it's on the ground, is where we are, collective. It's grounding that energy and flowing with it. Let's have a look at March. In March, what we can expect here, collective, the three of cups. So I'm saying, collective, you can create abundance from whatever you went through. Take your ideas, right? Be behind what no longer serves you in the karmic circus and move forward, right? Move forward. The five of swords there can speak about the end of disaster, it can speak the end of, right? It's not who is the victor. Arguments are not always about who is the winner. Sometimes it's about finding um, equilibrium, especially within yourself. And with the swords there within your mental energy, you know, you're balancing your emotions by doing that because you're having control over your emotions. And that's important, you know? Over here, collective, with Knight of Cups, we've got the Tower. Nice. This could literally speak about a lower off of some of you. If it is, congratulations. But it can also speak about a new beginning, a fresh start that's coming about. Because you've, you're doing this inner work, which, in my opinion, never ends. There are 8 billion people on the planet, an infinite number of possibilities. You will always be triggered by something. But it's about your response collective. How are you responding to it? How are you nurturing yourself and your own emotions by taking yourself away from people, places, and situations that no longer serve you? 
right? And the Ten of Pentacles. This is this wisdom here is leading to a level of abundance because then we've got the the page of swords and it looks like manifestation to me seeing things from a higher state of mind this tree in the background is not like the tree in the five of pentacles right that you see in this deck it is actually a thriving tree it's that now you're finding growth and manifesting from a more positive place yeah but because you've learned from these lessons something came about here collective for some of you and these things will happen in life do you know what doing something about it here with the seven of cups that's awesome collective right? The seven of cups here, it's like nurturing yourself and seeing past the illusion, seeing through sometimes the illusions that we create for ourselves, right? You don't know everything collective and much like the general readings, right? It's just a win to the situation at that time, you know? We can't know everything. If we were omniscient, then what would life be? Where would challenges be? Where would those uh, joys the surprises of joy come from you know and at the same time there are surprises of you have balanced these things out it's all the beauty of life if for june collective we've got the king of pentacles nice grounding this spiritual energy and moving forward to create a new structure for yourself beautiful you know that's absolutely beautiful for July, we've got the Ace of Cups. Indeed, it's something here that's leading into this. It's something that's close to your heart, right? For July, we've got strength. This is, again, your inner power, your inner truth, your intuition, right? With the Leo energy as well, being a leader of your own life. We can only lead ourselves collective. Ultimately, we're not talking about in a career, whether you're a manager or a leader or a business owner. We're speaking about you personally. You can't control other people's behavior. No, what you need to. Why would you want to? At the end of the day, you control yourself and you move forward. And that's part of the journey. The people that you find along the journey, right? Your soul tribe or, you know, maybe it's a new career. This, maybe that's what this new opportunity is speaking about for some of you, right? If you feel you're not happy in a workplace, like I wasn't in the past, you know, it wasn't that be anybody's fault if I'm not comfortable in a workplace. Then I left, right? That can speak the same for you. If you're not comfortable somewhere collective, then take steps, right? Incremental steps and find a new team or reach out to people. Find out what your new career would look like. What do you need to do to prepare for that? What do you need to work? Do you need to travel? Do you need to relocate? You know, all of these things are important. Dreams require plans and you can do that collective, right? Just take your time with it. Take your time with it. Pen and a piece of paper go a long way. I don't mean to sound patronizing. When you put it down, to be as simple as that, all of a sudden you realize, well, actually, okay, let me write down a little, a little bubble diagram or whatever it is you want to use, a little flow diagram, you know, which can lead into a flow diagram, right? You've got some ideas that you've brainstormed. Then you say, well, this is this, right? So then you create a flow diagram. How am I going to get to this point? What is the beginning step from where I am and move? You know? For August Collective, the Queen of Swords in the world, yeah, speaking your truth, moving forward with truth and creating a new environment for yourself and having the strength to say, do you know what, actually, this is coming from my heart space, so why shouldn't I be able to? Why? Why? Who is stopping me? No one, Collective. Sometimes we can ruminate so much about, you know, other situations that we lose sight of what our true pathway is. Now, and it happens. It's not to criticize or put other people down. Indeed, even if they come at you collective, well, that's their business. If that's the way they behave, so be it. Give peace and move forward. You know? Let it be. Let it be. Let the universe, as I always say, let the universe deal with it. For September, if yeah, for September collective, with death, we've got the King of Wands came out. Right? Again, with this spiritual energy, right? These elements that are here with the queen, it could be in some way that an aspect of your realm is, is falling apart. Now, it may seem like it's falling apart, but if you, if you have a desire collective, right? The universe answers, right? So that desire needs to come about, which means that your current world needs to fall apart in order for the new one to come together. And that's what this looks like to me. You know, having this vision to create something new, right, and having that justice for yourself here that we see in the next month of October, at the bottom of the deck here, two of wands, this Lord of Dominion, 
It is this spiritual energy, this essence of you, whatever your desires and passions are, whatever this career is that you're stepping towards, this your new endeavor, this new project. Teamwork is what it feels like here. And we had teamwork that came out. Working together with others, compromises need to be made. You know, everybody wants their own way. Tough. Right, that's life. That's life. Compromise will get you a lot further than expected to consistently have your own way. And you'll get a lot more done. Because when you can compromise, you can work together more strongly as a team. Right? Don't forget the difference between a group and a team. Right? With a group, a business seminar, for example, everyone's there for one subject. Right? But they're not a team because they're not working together. But everyone has their own interests. A team is different. A team is a group of people who everyone has one vested interest to one end, right? So everyone's needs, well, as many needs need to be met, you need to compromise along the way, right? There's nothing wrong with compromise. Just because you've got to compromise sometimes collective doesn't mean to say you're dirty, right? Justice here in October, the nine of wands, yeah. These lessons that have been learned, and this feels like a team. It feels like there is some level of teamwork, and it could be that you find your soul tribe, that whatever endeavor it is, is coming together. Maybe you're starting a business and you're expanding. Right? And that's part of the justice of the situation. Libra balancing this energy. Libra energy is infinite for, or infamous even, for being able to find a balance in situations, particularly when it comes to the heart. Right? And the Empress energy for nice. You see what I'm saying, Collective, how this is coming together nicely for you? This teamwork that you're creating is something that's close to your heart. By the time we get to July, start to come together nicely. You know, here with this self-actualization, this becoming yourself and understanding your environment is how you're able to create from a wholesome place with the Empress. We already saw here how in February, we had working with the higher powers here, working with the planetary energies. And here in this card, all the zodiac signs, Right? Understanding each aspect of yourself and how that reflects as above, so below, as within, so without. Right? And finally here, with December, we've got the Seven of Cups. Let's see that can be There we go. All right. With the Seven of Cups here, we've got the Queen of Cups. So finishing out the year collective in December to take stock on the situation. We had the Seven of Cups here earlier, and it was about seeing it from a higher mind. This looks like full evolution uh, within this phase of your emotional state and connecting with your higher mind. This can be seen as pre-high priestess energy, right? So when we look at this with the Seven of Cups, perhaps whatever you desired back here, collective, isn't the same now, right? Because you understand that you needed to compromise because you can't see the forest from the trees, right? So when you get into the project or whatever it is you seek to achieve here, then you compromise and say, right, well, now my desires are changing. And that's about adapting with life, having that water energy. As they say, be the water that shakes the rocks, right? Flow and move with life as you need to. We can plan to the end of days even, but just know that those plans will ultimately change at some point. But as long as you've got plans in the first place, you've got some foundation to work with, right? Ten of Swords came out here at the end, and when I just shuffled through this, it was a Ten of Swords shuffled again, the Nine of Swords. So there is an element here of the ending of not just rumination, but it feels like as an ending to thinking that everything is disaster and everything is ruined because it isn't. Things fall apart for new desires to come back together, right? And that's important in life. You know, that emotional maturity is important and it takes time to get to that point. And it's something, in my opinion, that we're consistently learning, again, because there are infinite possibilities. But as long as you can learn the lessons you have now, then you have a strong foundation to move forward. Let's get stuck in. Let's have a look at what the ancestors have to say. Angels and ancestors. Angels. If you have enjoyed this reading, so if, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, I put the website down below. Animal Guardian, trust your instincts. And over here, we have trust your intuition. You know, this is an element about flow with it. You know, being more tuned with your self collective, be more in tune with how you truly feel about a situation, you know, and take care of your needs at the bottom of the deck.
That's beautiful, Collective. You know? What a way to end up the reading that we started out with trust your intuition and then now trust your instinct and take care of your needs with the wolf here. Could be seen as the lone wolf. The wolf follows their instincts. Right? They hunt, they feed. They have to find somewhere to sleep that's safe. All of these things are important, but they all flow from experience. You know, the adult wolf is not the same as a pup that needs to be cared for. You know what I mean? It's that now, instead of reaching outside of yourself, be self-reliant, right? And go after your dreams. Why shouldn't you be able to do that? Go for it. Plan for it. Move forward. I'm going to end up the reading there, Collective. This has been an awesome reading, and I sincerely hope that 2024 is an awesome year for you. I really do. So thank you very much for being here, Collective. And as always, please take care of yourselves.